Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Galini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, today I want to talk to you about should you cycle creatine? Well, first of all, before we talk about cycling, um, let's talk about creatine because this is kind of a two-fold answer. If you are using inferior, unstable forms of creatine, like creatine monohydrate, creatine HCL, creatine nitrate, then yes, you need to cycle those. And the reason why is they aren't stable. As soon as they hit water or they hit your stomach, they instantaneously start to convert to creatinine. Creatinine is a bio waste. Now, if you ask my opinion, I would tell you not to use those forms, but if you like them, then I'm gonna tell you how to at least use them a little bit safer. So you wanna cycle them. I would say every four weeks, you go off a week, make sure you're drinking plenty of fluid. I would get on some milk thistle extract, which will help to uh, clean out your kidneys. Because again, depending on how much creatine you are using from these unstable forms, um, you could be ingesting a whole lot of creatinine. Creatinine is what leads to um, making you tired, lethargic. Um, as I said, it's a bio waste. It's very toxic. Uh, leads to all the side effects, water retention, bloating, headaches, diarrhea, cramping. So again, cycle. Now, if you're using the patented stable crealkaline form, then I would tell you, you don't need to cycle per se. It's burn up in about two and a half to three hours. So literally, you can take another dose in about three hours. Now, I always recommend any type of supplement that <clears throat> after about eight weeks, you should go off for a couple, two, three days just to let the receptor sites clean out. Now, I don't call that cycling. I just call that smart thinking. So, Crealkalin, no cycling. Other forms of creatine, absolutely. You definitely want to cycle. All right, hope that helps. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.